everyone, what's happening? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, yeah, and I hope you are all doing well today, man. Welcome to Chelsea's, today's Chelsea news video. <laughs> this isn't Chelsea's anything, this is my Chelsea news video. Where I'm going to be talking about dos stories, un, dos, tres, no, tres stories, tres stories, trois stories, and any other languages, essentially three. First being, Michy Batshuayi looks like he could be out of Chelsea this summer, with perhaps a likely location of West Ham. Could he be, you know, helping out slash replacing Sebastian Allaire? Well, certainly the links are there. What happened to Batshuayi, eh? I want to have a quick word on him and just let you know his record is still pretty immaculate. But yeah, it's probably not going to work out. Next up, this one's grinding my gears a little bit. But the new stories regarding Lucas Vasquez. Of course, this series is where I talk about what's in the headlines and give you my opinions. And I have some opinions on the Lucas Vasquez to Chelsea stories. Ugh. And something that I left out about a day ago that I wanted to get in, the whole Andre or Nana thing. Um, apparently there is an agreement with the club, with the coach Ten Hag, that if a certain price can be met, the player will be released. Of course, he's heavily, heavily, heavily linked to Chelsea Football Club, and he did that social media post as well, which was a kind of like, goodbye, Ajax. Excellent goalkeeper, of course, could be going for a very cheap price in the grand scheme of things, but Chelsea have... Kepa. We'll obviously talk about that as well. Boom, boom, boom. A lot to get through in today's Chelsea news video, man. So quick reminder to subscribe if you haven't yet done so. We've <laughs> surpassed 50k now. A whole new dawn for football therapy. So yeah, do sub, please. And want to like the video, help me out. Oh yeah, make sure that bell notifications icon is clicked because it's important apparently. Otherwise you might miss these daily uploads. Yeah, alright, let's get on with it. Let's start with Michy Batshuayi, man. He's one of those like peculiar stories of Chelsea Football Club. You know, the player that came into a club that sort of, you know, he's a bit of a cult hero, scored the goal that won Chelsea the Premier League under Antonio Conte, scored a goal in the Wanda Metropolitano away against Atletico Madrid in the Champions League, which was their first loss in that stadium, I believe, to Chelsea Football Club. Um, great goal from him there. He scored again in the Champions League against Ajax this season to get, and essentially that goal is so, so important. For, it, was, it was the difference between Chelsea qualifying and not qualifying out of the group stage, which earns the club millions and millions and millions. That was Michy Batshuayi's goal. He's sort of been a super sub, I guess. He comes on, he scores, he scores in like cup competitions. I tweeted this out earlier, pretty much saying over his entire Chelsea tenure, he averages a goal contribution every 78 minutes. For the whole of your tenure, that's a pretty amazing return if you think about it. Because um, he's still, you know, he's played a few thousand minutes. I know that's not much in the grand scheme of things since he has signed, but damn, bro, that's pretty good. Still, Lampard, sorry, Conte, none of them fancied the Belgian. Sure, he's two-footed, can score with both feet. He's an excellent finisher, and he's very strong. He's quite fast as well. It sounds like it all should be there. Like, he's a big figure. What, what, why does no one want him? It must be something to do on the training pitch, right? It's got to be something. He had a good time at Dortmund. He even had an okay time at Palace. Obviously, didn't go very well at Valencia on all these loans. But it might be time for Chelsea to cash in because they could still make money for the 26-year-old in his prime, man. They could, you know, and he's got he's Belgium international as well. So, who's going to buy Messi Batch? Why? Well, apparently West Ham have been heavily linked. I'm not sure how excited West Ham fans are at the prospect. Of course, Palace fans would have him back in a second, I imagine. And the sort of mid-tier, lower echelons, Premier League clubs as well. Would he want to go back abroad? Maybe. Personally, I think he should go back to Ligue 1. He could probably get a gig at the top echelons of Ligue 1 in French football, I imagine. Obviously, he was very, very good for Marseille before Chelsea purchased him. So maybe he could, you know, go back, go play for a Lyon, replace Moussa Dembele, and the peculiar circle of life of strikers continues. I don't know. Still, how will Chelsea fans reflect on Michy Batshuayi if he does indeed leave this summer? You let me know in the comment section below. Right, next up, let's talk about Lucas Vasquez of Real Madrid. Uh, yes, when you think of Vasquez, you're like, wow, another one of those up and coming <laughs> Real Madrid youngsters, you know, like Asensio, Vasquez, they're all kids coming through the system. Oh, what, he turns 29 in like a couple of weeks or something? 
<laughs> ah, I'm getting old, man. So he doesn't play much for Real Madrid. Uh, nothing's really going on with him over there. Very few goal involvements. Like I said, getting on a bit now. And although I think he likes the idea of retiring at Madrid, making loads of money, and hopefully actually playing some football, which he hasn't really been doing, he said the Premier League can be very attractive. And when he says very attractive, he's probably thinking, ooh, money in England. <laughs> But then again, you should get loads of money at Real Madrid. Still, point being, maybe he thinks he can get like a five-year contract or a four-year big bumper deal at one of the top clubs in England, which is probably a little bit wishful thinking, Lucas. And for some reason, the headlines are spitting out links with Chelsea Football Club. Uh, Chelsea should capitalize on Real Madrid's situation with Lucas Vasquez. While Chelsea are still perhaps looking for this additional wide forward to rotate with the others, at the club, Lucas Vasquez, for my money ladies and gentlemen, is not the answer. Sure he may have quality, there must be a reason why Real Madrid, you know, have him, <laughs> or kept him around for so long, but come on, I know Chelsea wants seniority, and you know, you all know that I think Mertens would be an excellent signing on a free, pur free purchase, free transfer for Chelsea, and I've explained my reasons for that, go back and watch previous videos if you don't know. But with Lucas Vasquez, for me, he's like somewhere in the middle. He's like, you know, about to touch 30. But so he's not, but he's not an old player, but he's just not a long-term investment. But he's not, you know, banging in the goals. He's not really what we need. So can these headlines linking Chelsea with Vasquez go away? Especially if they're true. Because <laughs> I just don't want any of that at my club. Thank you very much. I mean, you might feel differently about the player. If you do, get down in the comment section below and oh yeah, just just you know, just let me know about it. Right, let's talk about the main story for today. Andre Onana of Ajax, of course, a very exciting, talented young goalkeeper. We saw exactly what he can do between the sticks against Chelsea Football Club in the Champions League. Man is a crazy shot stopper. Obviously, very, very close friends with Hakim Ziyech, new Chelsea signing, and would love probably, to follow him to Stamford Bridge. Now, at the end of the Eredivisie, when it was cancelled, he did a social media post of the empty Johan Cruyff Arena saying, the journey ends with an empty stadium. The journey ends, it is over, bro. I'm out of here, kind of vibes, you know? Now, Ajax uh, coach uh, Ten Hag has recently come out and said, look, man, hands up, I'll tell you the truth. There is an agreement with the goalkeeper, Andre Nana that if the right price comes, we will let him go. So, following that, the, the headlines come up again. Chelsea, Andre Onana. Chelsea, Andre Onana. You dig? And there's also a rumoured price tag of £35 million. Now, you know what, man? That's pretty darn good. Less than half of Kepa Aretha Balaga, and he's put in some big high-profile performances in the Champions League, etc. And maybe if there is a little bit of wiggle room, considering the financial climate, what if Chelsea could buy Onana for £30 million? That's not bad, is it? But the thing is, it's been highly speculated by journalists around Chelsea Football Club, and from what Kepa's has come out and said himself recently, that Kepa will be given a second chance at Chelsea to be the first team goalkeeper. And... I don't think you can buy Andre or Nana to be a second choice keeper. Chelsea will need a second choice keeper to replace Willy Caballero next season coming in because you know, his contract's up, he's like 58 and you know, it's time to just move on from him. But do you bring Onana in as a second goalkeeper or do you just have two goalkeepers fighting for the first place? Although you could say healthy competition, both got quality, you need continuity in the back five, which I'm including the goalkeeper there. You need that chemistry between centre halves, goalkeeper, even fullbacks. If you start throwing them and mixing them around again, you've got a problem, man. You need chemistry, you need continuity. It's really important. So what happens? Do you loan out Kepa? I've talked about loaning him, how that might be the most viable scenario. He's on, well, he's still got five years left on his deal from now. Well, from when this season ends. It's, well, you know what I mean. This year ends. He's still got five years left. You could loan him for 12 months, try and recoup, so recoup some value. It's a very delicate and difficult situation. Would I like Onana? Probably. Do I think Kepa's a good goalkeeper? 
Yes. What do I think should happen? I have no idea. What do you think should happen? Get down in the comment section below and express your thoughts and opinions on Andre or Nana to Chelsea. What do you think? Difficult one, eh? Well, if you've enjoyed the content I've provided to you guys today, why not like the video, please? That means a lot. Remember to subscribe if you're new. Also, quick plug, in the top of the description, I'm going to put a link to Yan's Yard, my second YouTube channel where I'm doing daily live streams of FIFA 20, Chelsea career mode, it's loads of fun and very interactive with you guys, so make sure you go check it out and give it a sub. Follow me on social media, at Football Yannick. That is it from me guys, you lot enjoy the football that very sadly isn't happening at the moment. And I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me, baby.